Hello, this short video takes a look at how the worst people get into office, and we tap into some 6,000-year-old ancient wisdom to get our answer. The parable of the trees, when people of character and competency do not serve. One day the trees went out to anoint a king for themselves. They said to the olive tree, Be our king. But the olive tree answered, Should I give up my oil, by which both gods and men are honored, to hold sway over the trees? Next the tree said to the fig tree, Come and be our king. But the fig tree replied, Should I give up my fruit, so good and sweet, to hold sway over the trees? Then the tree said to the vine, Come and be our king. But the vine answered, Should I give up my wine, which cheers both gods and men, to hold sway over the trees? Finally all the trees said to the thorn bush, Come and be our king. The thorn bush said to the trees, if you really want to anoint me king over you, come and take refuge in my shade. When people of good character and good leadership refuse to be involved and to help lead, what we get is a nation of thorn bushes, and life becomes difficult, hard, and prickly under their rule and reign. There's a lot to be learned here from the parable of the trees. This is U.S. Civics Training. Thanks for listening. Hello, this short video is titled, Real Character, A Challenging Poem. Well, Josiah Gilbert Holland lived in the 1800s. He grew up poor, worked in a factory, and became a writer and poet. Although his works are rarely read today, during the late 19th century they were enormously popular, and more than half a million volumes of his writings were sold. I give you the poem, Give Us Men. Give us men, give us men, men from every rank, fresh and free and frank, men of thought and reading, men of light and leading, men of loyal breeding, the nation's welfare speeding, men of faith and not of fiction, men of lofty aim and action, give us men, I say again, give us men. Give us men, give us men, strong and stalwart ones, men whom highest hopes inspires, men whom purest honor fires, men who trample self beneath them, men who make their country wreath them, as are noble sons worthy of their sires. Give us men, give us men, strong and stalwart ones, men whom highest hope inspires, men whom purest honor fires, men who trample self beneath them, men who make their country wreath them, as are noble sons worthy of their sires, men who never shame their mothers, men who never fail their brothers, True, however false are others, give us men, I say again. Give us men, I say again, give us men. Give us men, give us men, men who... Give us men, give us men, men who when the tempest gathers, grasp the standard of their fathers in the thickest fight. Men who strike for home and altar, let the coward cringe and falter, God defend the right. True is truth, the lorn and lonely, tender as the brave are only, men who treat, men who trade, men who tread where saints have trod, men for country, home and God, give us men, I say again, again, give us men. Well, Josiah Gilbert Holland challenges us to not only give us men, but give us women that meet these standards for leadership in our country. This is U.S. Civics Training. Thanks for listening.